Welcome to the New York State Seal of Biliteracy Guidance Toolkit, Module Number 4. This toolkit represents a collaboration between NYSED and the Mid-State and Midwest Arborns to support schools in beginning the process of implementation of the Seal of Biliteracy. The modules contained in this toolkit are designed as a self-guiding process for individual schools or those who wish to work together in a consortium. They can be viewed in a sequence or individually to brush up on a particular topic. Each module consists of an agenda, a PowerPoint, and various supporting documentation and exemplars. Schools are encouraged to use these documents for their promotional materials as well as for internal and external communications. The entire toolkit is available online on the OBEWL Seal of Biliteracy website. My name is Candace Black and I will be your guide for this module. Module 4, Monitoring Student Progress, provides an opportunity for you to create the framework which will guide students as they prepare their culminating projects and deliver their final presentations to the panel. For more information on starting a SEAL of Biliteracy program at your school or for any questions regarding the SEAL, please contact me at candace.black at nysid.gov. Let's start with the module objectives. By the end of this module, participants will be able to share two ways to monitor student progress, describe the role of the advisor, understand how to use a rubric to evaluate culminating project presentations for the intermediate high proficiency level, and generate questions for use at future culminating project presentations. Let's start by reviewing the action items from Module 3. Did your SEAL of Literacy Committee Decide on how to include SEAL language in the program of studies. Draft the promotion plan and any associated materials such as parent letters. Prepare a draft of the student application reviewed by the SEAL committee. And prepare a draft of the culminating project rubric also reviewed by the SEAL committee. As we return to the suggested timeline, we are moving forward into the implementation stage. As a warm up, take a few minutes to reflect on the process of gathering the information for and filling out the school notification form. Complete the sentence starter. It was like a blank because blank. As an example, you might say, it was like a spider weaving a web of information in which each strand was dependent on the prior one. Please stop the recording to share your sentences. Let's now talk about the promotional materials you've developed for the Seal of Biliteracy within your school. If you're working within a school, review those promotional materials for the Seal that your committee created. Would any changes be necessary? If working with a larger group or a consortium, share out one promotional material created or used within your district. Please stop the recording to do this. Now let's take a look at the draft of your student application for the SEAL. If you're working within a school, review the student application that your committee created. Would any changes be necessary? If working within a larger group or with a consortium, post the applications on a wall and conduct a gallery walk so that all participants can benefit from what others have created. Discuss any that stood out as a good idea or best practice. Please stop the recording to do this. To ensure success, every SEAL of Biliteracy candidate should be fully supported through the process by several people who are present at each step. The first resource listed on this slide is a sample role checklist for advisors, students, and counselors. Schools can use this checklist as a step-by-step -step guide for these roles. The SEAL of Biliteracy Coordinator facilitates the entire process and ensures each person fulfills their role. At the beginning of the year, the SEAL of Biliteracy Coordinator creates a plan for how the student will earn three points in English and three points in another world language. He or she gathers biographical information on the student, which will be tracked along with the student's progress and submitted on the end of year data form. He or she checks in periodically with both the advisor and the student to ensure appropriate progress is being made. When the student has completed all of the required work for the SEAL, the SEAL of Biliteracy Coordinator submits the SEAL request form and end of year data form to NYSED. Next, we have the role of advisor. 
When possible, the advisor should be fluent in the world language in which the student is completing the seal so as to be able to read the student's work, make recommendations on edits, and provide general support for the product. The advisor meets regularly with the student to review and discuss progress made on the culminating project and maintains a log of student interactions to show evidence of this progress over time. Some things to carefully consider for meetings between advisors and students include duration, frequency, location, and format of meetings. An exemplar meeting log is included in a link on this slide and is also available on the toolkit website under Module 4. This is a sample advisor log created with Excel. The advisor documents the date of each meeting, any notes for the meeting, and the goal for the subsequent meeting. It is recommended that the Seal of Biliteracy coordinator uploads this Excel workbook to a shared network drive. Each tab in the workbook can be for a Seal of Biliteracy candidate. Advisors can update the relevant sheets after each meeting. In this way, all advisor logs are located in a single file on a shared network drive and Seal of Biliteracy coordinators can periodically check on each student's progress without having to contact each advisor. Student projects are ultimately evaluated using the culminating project rubric. Schools may develop their own rubrics, use one developed by a consortium of schools, or use the suggested OBEWL rubric so long as it is aligned to the Actifil Intermediate High Level of Proficiency. It is not permitted for schools to use a rubric that isn't aligned with this level of proficiency nor should schools use the writing rubric for the former Checkpoint B comprehensive exams in world languages. For this slide, we're going to ask you to take out a copy of the sample rubric to follow along. Page one gives general guidelines and a place to take notes on the student's performance. Guidelines include the practice of evaluating a student holistically on the three modes of communication, and the panel of reviewers, which consists of two or more adults who are qualified speakers of the language of the presentation and who are not related to the student. It is recommended that each reviewer be given a copy of the rubric for each student that they can then use to take notes on the student's performance and then use these notes to discuss and come to consensus with the panel on the student's final rating. Pages two through six contain the actual rubric for each standard. Interpretive communication is assessed by the classroom teacher in English, either their ELA or ESOL teacher, or world languages. This can also be an evaluator who is proficient in the target language prior to the presentation of the project. At the time of presentation, reviewers will evaluate the student on their interpersonal communication skills during the question answer portion and their presentational communication skills during the presentation itself. Note that essential questions are listed for each standard followed by a student-friendly can-do statement for that standard at each level of proficiency. Multiple essential questions are provided to allow for a variety of projects. Students need only demonstrate intermediate high for one of the questions for each standard. Reviewers should start by reading the highest proficiency level, progressing down through the levels until one is found that is an accurate description of the student's performance. As students prepare for their presentations, it is important that they also be familiar with the rubric that will be used to assess them. With your group, review the rubric you have developed or have chosen to use. Are there any tweaks that need to be made? Panel reviewers are encouraged to also come up with some standard questions to ask the students to get the conversation started following the presentation. Sample questions will be presented in a subsequent module. Please stop the recording and discuss your school's rubric and some possible questions. We're now going to take a look at an exemplary student presentation from the Buffalo Public Schools in one of the first years of the New York State Seal of Biliteracy. The student, Masada J. Nankumba, is a former English language learner who came to Lafayette High School as a teenager from Africa. For his culminating project, Masada wrote a play in Swahili and English entitled, How Shall We Overcome? Both the English and Swahili copy of this play are linked on this slide for your review. In the video, you will see a portion of the culminating project presentation and the panel interview. 
viewers will note the spontaneous nature of the interaction between the student and panel. As you play the video, focus on the following three questions. At which proficiency level does the student fall on the rubric? What kinds of questions are asked by the panel of reviewers? What questions could be added? When the video is finished, discuss the answers to the questions with the group. You may choose as a group to view all of the video or just some portions of it to get an idea of how it works. Please stop this presentation in order to click on the video and then restart the presentation when you are done viewing it. We have now reached the end of the presentation of Module 4. Let's revisit our objectives for this module. Consider whether the Seal of Biliteracy Committee was able to accomplish all of the can-do statements included here. This module series is designed as a practical guide to implement a Seal of Biliteracy program. Each subsequent module picks up where the prior one left off. Whether working within a school or with a consortium of schools, it is recommended that viewers consider completing the following action items in preparation for the next module. Bring a draft of your culminating project rubric and identify whom you will invite to serve on the interview panels for your students by language. Please share and discuss any additional questions you may have with the group. Further questions can be emailed to candace.black at nysid.gov. For more information on the SEAL, please contact us at candace.black at nysid.gov or via phone at 518-473-7505. We can also arrange for a virtual or in-person visit to a school to meet with your Seal of Biliteracy Committee. New York City DOE Schools should contact the Division of Multilingual Learners at dml at schools.nyc.gov. The OBEWL New York State Seal of Biliteracy website has a wealth of information on the SEAL and is easily accessible from this link or by visiting www.nysid.gov and typing SEAL of Biliteracy into the search bar. Every region of New York is serviced by one of eight regional bilingual education resource networks or ARBRNs. These organizations can provide local support for a SEAL of Biliteracy program. The link for each ARBRN is listed below. New York State Language Arburn statewide, Capital District Arburn at Questar 3 BOCES, Hudson Valley Arburn at SW BOCES, Long Island Arburn at Eastern Suffolk BOCES, Mid State Arburn at OCM BOCES, Midwest Arburn at Monroe 2 Orleans BOCES, New York City Arburn at Fordham University, and Arburn West at Erie 1 BOCES. Thank you for participating in this module. We hope this has been helpful. Please feel free to send any feedback on this module to the aforementioned email as we are always looking to improve the end user experience. The members of the SEAL task force listed on this slide were instrumental in contributing to and reviewing this module series. On behalf of the Office of Bilingual Education and World Languages of the New York State Education Department, the authors would like to thank them for their service.